Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Success. Today, we're going to be looking at the top three worst moments on porn stars. Let's get to it. In at number three, it's the Shoeless Joe signature turns out to be a fake. Certain pieces of vintage sports memorabilia are extremely rare and highly collectible. This fact was certainly on Rick's mind in the sixth season episode, Say It Ain't So, when a customer came into his store with a book signed by baseball player Shoeless Joe Jackson. Not only was Jackson a legendary baseball player, he was illiterate, so his signature is incredibly rare. Being wary of this rarity, Rick asks for any documentation that may support the customer's story. To his surprise, the customer produces a letter of authentication and Rick decides to buy the book on the spot for $13,000 before the customer can change his mind and sell it elsewhere. Afterwards, Rick brings in an authenticator to see if the signature is legitimate, since he hadn't heard of the authenticator who signed the customer's letter. Unfortunately, the expert reports that the signature is likely a fake. Undaunted, Rick decides to send the book off to yet another authenticator. What he gets back is a laundry list of reasons to be confident that the signature is a fake. Upon hearing the news, Rick is roundly criticised by the old man Corey and even Chum Lee for hastily spending over $10,000 on the worthless book. At number two, it's the fake gun. In the first season episode, Time Machines, a man brings in a flintlock pistol he had bought at a gun show. Seeing the potential for an interesting piece of history in his store, Corey calls in an expert in vintage firearms to appraise the value of the gun. The expert relays that if the gun is authentic, it could fetch a price upwards of $2,500. However, much to the chagrin of Corey and the customer alike, the gun is not authentic and is a modern recast of an old design that is worth about $75. The customer, obviously upset, says that the person he bought the gun from told him that it had been a family heirloom for generations. In fact, that story is what made him comfortable paying $800. Being tricked into buying something fake for a grossly inflated price is a horrible situation to find oneself in. Finding out on national television isn't likely to make the situation any better. And at number one, Rick nearly causes a fight by accident. So hoping to make some money by parting with some art, a customer visits the gold and silver with a statue of Perseus and Pegasus made by Emile Picout in the second season episode, Flight of the Chum. Being familiar with Picout's work, Rick knows that his statues are highly collectible and worth thousands of dollars, so he gives the customer's item a thorough look. Rick immediately becomes suspicious when he finds markings on the statue that do not match the period it was produced in. He then finds markings engraved on the statue showing that it was made in the United States. And since the artist is French, this confirms that the statue is a reproduction. At the suggestion that the statue may not be entirely authentic, the customer gets angry with Rick. Agitated, the customer says, I don't care what you say, I don't care what you tell me, but I know you're full of. As the tension mounts, the pawn shop security guard, Antoine, begins walking toward the customer in case an intervention is needed. However, he is waved off by Rick. In the end, the old man diffuses the situation by calmly yet firmly explaining that they are not interested in buying the statue. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time.